Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk. I am Coach Roxanne, and you are joining me live on the Better Body Fitness fan page. Uh, it's a little, so we're located here in Wisconsin. The weather here has been a little interesting. I believe it's, what, 49 degrees out there right now, maybe low 50s. Uh, if you are in Wisconsin, my guess is you are wearing some long sleeves today. <laughs> I wore my leggings yesterday and was just right. I had on my sleeveless tank and I was a little chilly yesterday. Ashley, good morning. Kimberly, good morning. Kimberly, what's the weather out like by you? Julie, good morning. I know, right? Burr, I let the dogs out and I, I felt like winter. I had to stand back so that the breeze didn't blow on me. <laughs> Beth, good morning. It's chilly. Uh, it is hard for me to believe that we are creeping up on, and we're in the middle of June, creeping up on July 4th, and this is some of the weather. Corey, good morning, Coach. Deanna, good morning. I love it. I love it. I've got my coffee here. Uh, I have to tell you, there are some mornings that I am just, I am too lazy to make my milk foam. <laughs> I wish I could tell you it wasn't true, but it is. I just want to make my coffee, dump my creamer in. I still measure it out, but it's so much easier than waiting for milk foam. Heather, good morning. Kimberly, chilly today, high of 64. Now that's a little abnormal for you guys, right? Sue, hello, coach. Good morning. Michelle, good morning, coach. Karen, good morning. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now I might have fooled some of you. I might have fooled some of you with the title. But that's okay, because that was kind of my plan. Nikki, good morning. Carrie, good morning. Send help. Get me off of the Amazon Prime deals. <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to think if I did buy anything. I did. I sent my son some Doritos. <laughs> I sent him one of those big... 40 packages of Doritos yesterday. Now today, I saw on there the Ancestry thing is $100 off and I've always wanted to do it, but I refrained. I refrained, someday I'll do it, today's not the day. Did I buy anything else on the Amazon deals? I don't think so. What are you What are you getting? Uh, on, I wanna know what you guys are buying on your Prime deals. I wanna know what you're getting. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if I really see Anything great deals. Lori, Heidi, Heidi Ho, ladies and gents. Michelle, happy Tuesday. Tammy, good morning. Kim, good morning. Dina, good morning. Who else do we got on here? We've got Corey. We've got Julia, Gulia. <laughs> Stacy, good morning. I love it. Um, oh Lord, what are you what are you doing here? What's what's going on here? The dad joke generator? Oh gosh, when you have time. Kirsten, all I bought yesterday was protein powder. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm trying to think. I did buy a beach blanket, but I don't think that, I mean, I always only do Amazon deals, but uh, Deanna, got rid of Prime right after Christmas so I wouldn't fall into the rabbit hole. Out of sight, out of mind. I love it, I love it. I, I would say in the past week, I have probably spent more than I did in the past three months. Uh, on Amazon. Now it's time to chill again. Now it's time to chill. All right, let's get to it, my friends. So the title of today's episode is Tomorrow's a New Day, and I put my little hands. But what I mean is Tomorrow's a New Day. Cha! That's what I mean by that. We're not, It's not going to be oh, Tomorrow's a New Day. Everything's going to be perfect. I'm going to make all the right choices. It's not going to happen like that. So let's dive into that a little bit today. I see it all the time. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. <laughs> oh, Lord. No. You really got to think about that. <laughs> okay, well, time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. <laughs> Dinner, Bill. Good morning. I get it, Coach. Good I don't know. Time flies. <laughs> All right. So at the end of the day today, we you know we tell people to to rate their day: sweat, step, smoothing, sips. And every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, even sometimes during the week, what I see a lot of is uh, no sweat, no sips. I had this. I had that. I'm feeling bad. I'm feeling. Oh, yeah. But tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Now. Yes, tomorrow's a new day, and I'm all about having grace. 
I'm all about, yes, one day isn't going to hurt you. One meal isn't going to hurt you. But here's what I want to say. How many times in a month do you say tomorrow's a new day? And I want you to be really honest about that. Are you saying that every single Sunday? Are you saying that every single Saturday? What about Fridays? Alyssa, good morning. How many times in a month do you say, but tomorrow's a new day? Uh, you know, there's something I heard, and, and it's, it's speaking to me to say it. I didn't have it written down here. The best apology is changed behavior. Now, that's not an apology to me. That's not an apology to Coach Chuck. It's not an apology to your spouse. It's your journey. When you say something like, tomorrow's a new day, aren't you almost saying, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, body. I'm sorry, mind. The best apology is changed behavior. How many times are you going to say, but tomorrow's a new day before you actually take that serious? We, there, was a, there was a show I did a while back and we, we called it, um, is it one day or day one? Because tomorrow is going to be just like every other day, unless you change your behavior. Otherwise, tomorrow is just that. It's tomorrow. July 1st is just going to be another first. Monday is just going to be another Monday until it isn't. Change requires change, right? I'm gonna, that's the next thing I'm getting tattooed on my body. Next weekend's going to bring exactly what this past weekend did. Now you're like, but it was Father's Day. Yes, it was. And if you're saying that's the only time that you've had a moment where you've been, tomorrow's a new day, then yes, you probably are on the right path. But if you've been saying this every weekend since Memorial Day, something's got to change because here's what's happening. You've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You're racking up results left and right, right? Like you're reeling in the big fish. You're reeling them in. You're getting results. And then comes Friday. And you know what you do? You're taking a fish out of your bucket. You're throwing it back in the water. Saturday comes, you're taking two more fish out of the bucket and throwing them in the water. Sunday comes, you're feeling hungover. You're feeling like you're sore, you're tired, you're crabby. You take that whole bucket of fish that you just spent all week catching and you're gonna dump them over the side of the boat. Now you've got nothing left to eat. And that was your only source of fuel. You've got nothing left. So now on Monday, you have to start catching fish all over again and Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday. And on Friday, you're starting to take some of the fish and throwing them back out of the bucket. Dee Dee, good morning. It's not the day that needs to change. It's not the day that needs to change. It's you. You have to make the change. It's your choices. It's your habits. It's your priorities. Every time you get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you make a decision that doesn't go in line with what you want to get to your goals or what you have to do to get to your goals, you're pushing that goal back. And you're pushing it back. And I hear it all the time. I'm so frustrated. I'm so sad. I'm doing everything and I'm not getting results. Now, a lot of times, we talk a lot about the four S's. Unfortunately, the four S's aren't everything. They are a great foundation. They're a great foundation. For somebody who's just starting to dip their toe in, the four S's are an amazing foundation and you can start laying bricks and building it and building it. But then comes the really serious stuff. Nutrition is one of the most serious things we have to accomplish. It's one of the most serious things we have to work on to continue to get results. Yes, the smoothie is going to get you feeling better. The fitness is going to get you feeling better. The steps are going to get you feeling better. The sips are going to get you feeling better. And you might even lose a little weight. You might even lose some inches, but that's not gonna be the end all be all of your results. If you're still eating pizza and burgers during the week and you're not eating your fruits and veggies, you're probably at a standstill, my friends. If you're beast moding your nutrition Monday through Thursday, and I, you know, there was something interesting said to me, and, and actually I've seen it so many times. By the time I get to Friday, I'm so tired and I'm so beat. I just want to relax and enjoy the weekend. But what are we really saying? We're saying we want to drink alcohol and eat sugar. We're not saying rest and relax. Whatever you're doing during the week should not be so crazy that you cannot carry it through the weekend. 
And on the flip side, whatever you're doing on the weekend, you should be easily able to do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and not think twice about it. I don't know why we feel like weekends have to be this let loose, gorge ourselves on processed sugar, down the alcohol like it's water, and then wonder why we're so tired, why we're so depressed, why we're so crabby, why our size isn't changing, why our pants feel tighter, even though we're doing the four S's and we've been doing them for four months now. My friends, it's so much more than that. And if you've been doing the four S's and you're like, it's time to level up, that is where you have to level up. It's all nutrition. Chuck and I are fitness professionals. That's what we do. You all know this. But fitness is about 20% of your results. Nutrition is going to be 80 and we can guide you. We can lead you. I still have this sitting here from yesterday. This is the end all be all. We didn't make this up. We didn't make this up. This is just, you go out into the world and you're gonna find what foods will help me get to my goal. And you're gonna find all the foods in this green list. You're probably gonna find a lot of foods in the yellow. But what you won't find are the foods in the red list. If you are eating these foods, they're not gonna get you to your goals. Now, there's like on here there says, um, there says, um, uh, I, eat, I eat toast for breakfast. I'm at a different place in my journey. I'm not trying to lose a ton. Toast isn't going to affect my body. But if you're somebody who has a lot of weight to lose, or maybe you're trying to lose the last 10 pounds, something like that might affect your body. You might have to stick to eggs and fruit for a little while. But what you're doing on the weekend is probably contributing more to your results than anything you're doing Monday through Thursday. Uh, my fiance always says that sorry people change their behavior. Yes. I remember, I remember being a teenager and I apologized to somebody for something. And they said, they, what they said was, don't apologize. Just don't do it again. And, uh, and that has stuck with me forever. Don't apologize for something you're going to do again. If you're going to repeat, if you're going to repeat last weekend, this weekend, don't say tomorrow's a new day because it's not really a new day. It's not a new day for you. You're, you're living Groundhog's weekend. <laughs> you're doing the same thing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on Monday, you're feeling bad for yourself. And you say, today's a new day. Sunday has to be a new day. Saturday has to be a new day. Friday has to be a new day with new habits, new choices, new, new everything. Change requires change. And I get it. It's hard. It's hard. Heidi, you know it. It, it. There's nothing easy about this journey. There's nothing easy about it. But I'm telling you right now, there's nothing easy about what you're doing either if you are not making these choices to eat off of the green and yellow list. I'm telling you, eating off of this list is making your life just as hard as living off of this list. Maybe you're not prepping as much food over here and that's what makes your life hard, but I guarantee that the way your body feels is harder than the way your body would feel instead of prepping meals. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So a new day doesn't make choices easier. A Monday doesn't make your choices easier. And you might say, but Roxanne, what if it did? What if Monday does make my choices easier? That's great. But what happens the next time Monday doesn't make your choice easier? What if Monday makes your choice just as hard as Saturday? Then what? You haven't worked your willpower muscle at all. So it doesn't matter if it's a Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. If choices are hard, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to do everything you said you were going to do to get your goal? Or are you just going to give up and give in and do what's easy? Are you just going to, you know, I, I, I know a lot of salespeople who say, I have to take people out to eat. So I, I, I don't know how I'm going to lose weight. Well, I'm telling you how you're going to lose weight. You're still going to take them out to eat. You're not going to consume alcohol. You're not going to consume deep fried food. That's the hard truth of it. You're going to have a glass of water with lemon and you're going to, you're going to order salmon and a salad or a steak and maybe, maybe some healthy sweet potatoes or asparagus. You're still going to enjoy your food. You're not going to get bombed out of your skull in hopes of a sale. Your life is worth more than that, my friends. Your life is worth more than going out on the weekends and worrying about what your friends are doing or saying when you're not drinking. Your life is worth more than that. Your goals are worth more than that. Stacy, changing my mindset has been the biggest game changer for me. My journey is a lifestyle change, not a diet. Yes, change requires change. 
if you look at this and you think, this is a diet, I can't live on this, then your mindset still isn't where it needs to be. If you're, if you're like, I just want to have fun and eat my food, your mind is, why do we, why do we think fun equals bad food? Why do we think fun equals alcohol? How long have we had that mindset? That's where we got to shift some of this. These are amazing fun foods. Have you seen some of the recipes I've posted? They're delicious. Do I love spending time in the kitchen? <laughs> Not really. Not really. Do I love cleaning up? Not really. Do I love what I'm putting in my body? Yes. Do I love how I feel during and after a workout? Yes. I didn't feel like that when I was eating off of this. I've also had many, many health issues. My face also, I don't know if you can see this, is breaking out. Why? because I indulged in some processed sugar this weekend and my body's rebelling against me. Do I want to live with that every weekend? No, I don't. I'll live with it occasionally. I'll have a piece of cake occasionally, but I also want to know that I earned it. I don't want to beast myself Monday through Thursday only eating rabbit food to gorge my face with sugar on the weekends. I don't want to do that to my body anymore. That was the 30-year-old Roxanne. That was the 20-year-old Roxanne. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to get out of that cycle. When is the last time you went 90 days without saying, oh, well, tomorrow's a new day? I want to know for real. When is the last time you went 90 days? When is the last time you went 60 days without saying, tomorrow's a new day? When is the last time you went 30 days? When is the last time you got through a weekend without saying that? This is where we stall in our results. If you aren't getting results, that's probably the question you need to be asking yourself. When is the last time you went 90 days without saying, oh, well, tomorrow's a new day? It's time to think about that. Now, I hear it all the time, but it's summer. But it's summer out. I get it. Why do we give up on ourselves because it's summertime? Why do we still feel the need to have to indulge in all of this crazy sugar and crazy alcohol because it's summertime? Let's still grill out. Instead of maybe potato chips, maybe you have a serving of potato chips, but maybe then you fill your plate with all of the fresh fruit and vegetables of the season. Why isn't that fun? Why do we try and tell ourselves that fun has to mean something else? Uh, today is my seventh day and I'm stepping forward. I love it, Lori. I just want to relax and have fun on the weekends. What are you doing during the week nutritionally that you feel like you cannot do on the weekends? Because if you are doing, that's usually where the crazy diet comes in. You're probably doing something so extreme that you can't manage it on the weekends. I did my sheet pan meals for two weeks. Do you know how easy that was to continue on the weekend? Easy peasy. Cut the veggies up, throw them on the tray with the protein, bake them up. Easy peasy. But Roxanne, it's so easy for you. No. <laughs> I am just like you. I'm exhausted come Friday. So pr Fridays I plan. I have my cauliflower pizza. I love it. But then I'm, re I'm ready to go on Saturday and Sunday. I, my, my, my goals aren't resting because it's the weekend. I can't either. Corey, I did the sugar detox. I gave it all up for six days. Sunday, I ate one homemade cookie. It gave me a buzz and I craved more on Monday, right? Now back on the wagon. If you go out there and you look at studies on what sugar does to you and how addicting it is. And you know, a lot of people went, we went pretty deep in the sugar detox. We started looking at maple syrup. We started looking at honey. You know, we started looking at our creamers, which is great. It's great to be aware. My guess is those things are not what's keeping you addicted to sugar. What's keeping you addicted to sugar is what you're sneaking in in the afternoon. It is the cookies. It's the cakes. It's the chips. It's the chocolate chips. It's the ice cream. Those are the things. Sometimes, you know, we love to look at where the problem isn't because that's easy then, right? We love to look at where the problem isn't. Uh, I had a thought there about the, oh, you know, one of the craziest things I hear is when people say, I don't eat bananas because there's so many carbs. I don't eat watermelon because there's so many sugars. But yet here we are drinking alcohol, eating potato chips, eating sugar on the weekends, and somehow we've demonized a banana or we've demonized watermelon. No, 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 no. <laughs> eat 
the damn banana. Eat the watermelon. Stop eating the processed foods. Stop drinking the alcohol. Before you demonize a fruit or a vegetable, make sure that you are really focusing on the demons that are keeping you from getting results. If this is you, uh, yes, I'm calling you out. The banana's not holding you back. Now, if you have an allergy to something, then yes, I get it. My body doesn't respond well to broccoli. I don't get to enjoy broccoli all that often. Am I going to demonize it and go eat potato chips instead? No. <laughs> Preach it, girl. I love it, Renee. Uh, Lori, I took your lead and bought Halo this weekend, and one tablespoon of dark chocolate has helped with those cravings. Lifesaver. You know, it's got to make it a plan. Make Choose healthy options, but don't start demonizing healthy foods because you aren't getting to your goals. I'm sorry. Bananas are not getting you fatter. Bananas are not putting body fat on you. Watermelons, apples, oranges, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, those foods are not putting body fat on you unless you're consuming them in mass quantities and eating more calories than you're burning. Then maybe, then maybe, but my guess is when you sit down and you figure out where you're at with your nutrition, those are not the foods that are holding you back. There are things that you don't wanna face and you don't wanna look at. So your weekends and your weekdays, they should look semi the same. I know we, we may have more structure on our weekdays, but it's time. I, I see these moms out here who are crazy busy, the baseball moms, but what are they doing? They've got structure. They know they're going to be at a baseball field. Sometimes they don't know if it's going to be for four hours, six hours, or eight hours, but what do they do? They've got a cooler stocked with all the foods that are going to get them to their goals, with all the foods that are going to help so they don't go over to the concession stand and blow their whole week of hard work on hot dogs and chips and soda. They're prepared. These busy moms, whatever your excuse is, it's time to get real about it. If you choose to take a meal off, great, own it. Just own it. Don't say tomorrow's a new day. Just own it. Uh, this is what I'm choosing for my meal today. I'm going to get up tomorrow. I'm going to do everything I said I was going to do anyway. Own the meal. If you're starting to have three, four, five, six meals in a week, then it's no, then it's no longer owning a meal. Then you're just back to your old bad habits that got you where you were in the first place. You know, our kids, I'm going on and on here. I'm sorry. Our kids, are, they, have to, they have to work for good grades, right? Good grades aren't just getting, given. They have to work for an allowance. They have to earn it. Why are we any different? Uh, do you eat your fruits and veggies? I, I see it when we get, out, we get together with family all the time. Before you can have your dessert, you have to eat some fruits and veggies. You have to make sure you eat some meat. You have to make sure you do this. Are you following the same rules? Because your kids are watching. Whatever you're doing, your kids are watching. For some reason, we hold them to a different standard than we hold ourselves. But what do your kids really see? And I'm serious about this. What do your kids see on the weekends? Are you getting bombed every weekend? Are you sitting there at the, oh, it's been such a long week, I'm gonna have cocktails. Are your kids seeing this? Um, are you hungover? Are you tired? Are you crabby? Are you eating all these crappy foods and then, and then you're so tired you say to them, go ahead, eat whichever you want? I'm telling you, that's exactly what your children are going to do as soon as they can. As soon as they're teenagers, as soon as they're young adults, they are going to do exactly what they saw, exactly what they see. You have time to change the trajectory of where they're headed, but they are, they are, they are modeling you. They're going to do whatever you're doing. You know, be, they, they, they will. You are the example, whether it's Monday or Saturday, you're the example example. All right. That's where, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Uh, I got a couple more comments here. Um, Beth, my cooler, hold on. My cooler was stocked with veggies this past weekend. Lots of leftovers and it's perfect. Now for my sheet pan meals and salads, right? Like that should just start to feel like the normal. Those sheep, I see people posting food, sheet pan shrimp fajitas. That should feel fun. That should feel fun. Whether it's a Tuesday or a Saturday, that should feel fun. Um, yeah, who else is here? Yes, replying to Carrie. It has saved us so much time uh, packing coolers. Beth, my, oh, hold on. So yes, I got a couple more comments down here. I'm sorry, my friends. Uh, Beth, agreed. Deanna, love this message and love you, Roxanne. Not sure how long I've gone without saying tomorrow's a new day. Great perspective. And you know what? That, that saying is really going to matter on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I swear if you are struggling to get results, those are the three days you really need to take a hard look at. 
What are you doing on your weekends that don't look like your weekdays? Maybe your weekends are a perfect and maybe because you're so stressed out during the week, you got to look at where, where are you not doing what you should be doing? Where do you think things are sliding out of control? That's where you have to put your work in my friends. All right. I love you all so much. Join coach Chuck at noon for the noon nugget. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 7am for coffee talk. We love you all. Tomorrow is a new day, but today's the day you have in front of you, my friends. Have a fantastic to-do's day.